Hello, Cancer. This is your October 2020. So, Cancerians, somebody is very curious around you. There is somebody who is either being very nosy, they're inquiring something about you, or they're wanting to know something about you for sure from someone that knows you. There is a link between you and <clears throat> your partner, but there's also a link there that is extra. So there's a third party link or there is, in fact, just someone who they know who to communicate with or talk to about you. <clears throat> now, Cancers, Sun, Moon and Rising, somebody may be trying to manipulate or <clears throat> feed out information from somebody may be trying to um, get some uh, buddy to come closer to them. So that they can learn something about you. It may also be somebody trying to give a message to you through someone else. Got me? Sounds a little confusing for a minute, but listen to it again if you need to. For some of you, Cancers, there is a miraculous moment about to happen. There is something out of the norm, something unexpected on its way down the road for you. Um, despite what happened before, despite what you thought the outcome would be, or you thought your predictions were, there is definitely recovery here. There is definitely something that is going to make you smile. There's also going to be something that has to do with worrying that you could never fix this. Some of you are definitely worried that you can't fix this, or this won't get fixed, or somebody won't give in, or, um... Somebody might steal them from me or steal you from them. It feels like there's a discussion needed to be had here. There's definitely conversation, communication that is needed to be had between you and your partner. Very interesting. Very interesting. I feel like you uh, definitely, because I have the card that came up with the two of them, um, the two of wands, right? So with this card, it definitely talks to me about um, saying you're still looking into something. There's something that you personally don't want to let go of or give up on. There's also something that you are striving for or there's a goal that you see at the end of this road here that you're trying to reach. For some of you, there definitely could be a relationship here with a woman that also feels very... Um, for some of you, this relationship with this woman could feel like you're beaten against a brick wall. For some of you, this relationship with this woman, and she could be an older woman, may feel like somebody's not understanding where you're coming from or what you're talking about or what you currently mean uh, as far as your situation goes. Somebody's definitely trying to intervene here or trying to help you as well when this woman comes up. I also feel like for some of you, having the Ace of Cups... Okay, Cancer, having the Ace of Cups in your reading is kind of like you know what love you had for this person. You know, in fact, how this person felt about you. Now, for some of you Cancerians, I'm sorry to tell you that for some of you, your partner knew that you were a doormat and they took advantage of that from day one. In the very beginning, they boosted you up. They, they complimented you. They hung out with you. They loved you. They told you uh, that you were all that they needed. And a months, months or weeks later, things began to change where they began to humiliate or maybe um, decided to make you feel uh, not good enough or unwanted. Some of you may have even felt like somebody was using you as an excuse and only coming around when it was convenient for them. But you kept allowing them to do that. So be careful. Okay. Your next card comes up with a hangman. And the hangman talks about this person still hanging around. In the month of October, this person is not completely out of sight, out of mind. This person may have some distance from you for some of you. But for others of you, this person isn't that far away. This person can get to you within like 30 minutes at the max. This person may even live around the corner for some of you. For some of you, this person could live next door. For a lot of you, there is definitely some consoling needed here. There's a lot of you who may feel like your heart is, is hurting and, and you just want somebody to comfort you. Some of you may even be looking for 
another person to come in or allowing someone else to come in just to fill that void that's there right now. Something that's making you feel like really sad or alone or lonely. For some of you, there may have been an accident involved here. Somebody may have been in an accident that may be very much uh, your story. Somebody may um, have made some poor choices or decisions. Somebody may have driven drunk. Somebody may have uh, definitely... Um, took a wrong turn, so to speak. For some of you, there's a battle here. There's an argument. There's going back and forth. For some of you, it feels like your partner has on these disguises. One minute they're this way, one minute they're the next way. So it's like they wear these different masks and each mask represents a behavior or an attitude that they have. Some of you are dealing with somebody just going back and forth with mood swings as well. It's very difficult to deal with. For some of you, Mm, there could be five, the number five, very important to you, or it could be five friends that you have all around you, meaning there's about five people in your circle who you speak with, hang out with, have conversation with, or this is your partner. They have five people that they hang out with. For some of you, there's something going on about dinner tonight, maybe dinner uh, at six and maybe dinner at seven, dinner at eight, whatever that means for you. Some of you may be trying to meet up with somebody as well. For some of you, this could be a fiancé. Some of you may be dealing with somebody who keeps um, not, a, be not being able to make a choice, especially about marriage or wedding dates, um, things of that nature. Somebody took one step, but they're not willing to take the next. They're not trying to get things uh, fixed up so that you can move on with your future goals. For some of you, you're very unsuspecting of a situation that's going on behind your back. You're not aware of something right now, but something is going to be made fully clear to you. And also, I feel like you will do some of your own investigating. For some of you, this investigation will reveal one or two different um, scenarios. And it is going to be up to you to make the right choice or decision and to believe in one or the other. It is definitely not both. For some of you, you may be recently moved into a house or moving into a house or a home, meaning apartment, condo, whatever. Either way, you're moving or you may have just moved. Some of you are finding it to be a little bit noisy where you're at, wondering what you can do with the sound. Or maybe it's something to do with children or a dog, something that is annoying to you when you're trying to work from home. Uh, there's a lot of things going on here. And also, too, you might feel like you're right next to the wrong neighbor, somebody who's just not uh, who you hope to be next door. But I do feel like somebody will be moving soon and it won't be you, it'll be them. For some of you, there is definitely a mission here. Your mission is to complete something. Uh, some of you may be dealing with somebody who's jealous and <clears throat> you may be having trouble dealing with this person or convincing this person. Or you may be the one that's jealous with your partner and it's causing a lot of chaos in your relationship. For some of you, you may have gotten tracked down by your partner or your partner may be trying to track you down. For some of you, this could not be good. This might be for some of you who tried to get away from a domestic violence situation and your partner is in fact trying to track you down. Do not give in to this person. If you see them, call the police immediately. For some of you, this is about a partner trying to track you down because they want to catch up with you. This also could be an old friend trying to track you down, maybe through Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever, one of those Twitter things, whatever. But somebody's definitely trying to get a hold of you. Some of you may be dealing with a college student or you may in fact be a college student who's struggling emotionally, maybe from some type of abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, maybe even physical abuse. For some of you, you may know someone who committed suicide. This person is definitely trying to send messages to you about a toxic relationship that you're in. They're trying to help you to understand that you deserve better. For some of you, there is going to be in the month of October, a lot of ins and outs and ups and downs. What do I mean by that? Ins and outs and ups and downs, meaning going back and forth with something, not being able to make up your mind or make a decision about something, being very inconclusive. Okay. For some of you, this back and forth may be traveling. It may be a work situation for some of you. For some of you, it could be a relationship that's hot and cold on and off. Break up, get together, break up, get together. For in and out, it means somebody may come into your life for a while and then they leave. And then months later, they come back in again. 
and then they leave. For some of you, this could be you trying to work something out with somebody and it always ends up the same way because you're doing the same things. Nothing changes if nothing changes. For some of you, there is a destination you're trying to get to. There is a travel coming up. There's plans coming up, something you're wanting to do or been wanting to do. For some of you, you've been ghosted and you're sick and tired of the game playing that somebody's been doing during this month of October. Even though things may feel out of control and out of sorts, it feels like you're going to be able to pick and choose your battles, meaning you're finally going to just decide that, you know what, I'm going to take this one and work on it, and that's it. The rest, I don't care what happens. But for some of you, you're tired of that game. It's like watching the clock go around each hour, each hour, each hour, and it's getting to the point where you're, you're tired of waiting. You're frustrated. For a lot of you, you definitely have your finances improving. There is more money coming in. You're going to be able to decipher what you need to spend your money on and where you need to save your money. For some of you, it is moving ahead, not looking back in a certain situation. For some of you, you are definitely standing still, holding your ground, sticking to your point, not allowing somebody to change your mind or coerce you into something you're not ready to do. You're also definitely much aware of somebody who's been manipulating for quite some time. Continue keeping your balance right now, Cancer. Continue uh, holding your own. Continue meditating, concentrating, focusing on what it is that makes you happy. Okay, don't allow somebody else to come in and disrupt your routines. A lot of you are going to be very creative with starting your own business or continuing to move forward with something, learning something, getting a course online, taking some type of class, maybe even mastering a degree. But something is coming up in a creative way for you. Ideas, suggestions, even work-related things. Uh, last card that you guys have is standing up and believing in yourself. Definitely cancer for the month of October. Stand up and believe in yourself. Okay? You're going to show somebody also, for some of you, you'll give them one more try. They have one more try. And if they miss out on this, you're done. So that is pretty much your reading for October 2020, cancer.